All right, guys, I'm back with another video. This is going to be a comparison between the Hobie Compass and the Old Town Sportsman 106 powered by Minn Kota. Let's just get a couple of things out of the way. The 2020 Hobie Compass is $2,099. That's without reverse. If you want reverse and the kick-up fins, it's going to be $2,449. That comes in camo standard, but you can get any color with those uh, 180 drive with the turbo fin or turbo fins and kick-up fins. Um, and it's going to be 68 pounds just whole, 87 pounds with the seat and drive. And it's 12 foot long, 34 inches wide. Um, let's see, the Old Town is going to be $24.99. That's no paddle, no battery. Each one of those is probably going to run about 100 each for a decent um, paddle. And it is 84 pounds a whole and 104 pounds with the seat and drive. So let's just go bow to stern on these two boats. You've got the Old Town is 10 foot 6 and 37 inches wide. And the Compass is 12 foot long, 34 inches wide. Now the Old Town is definitely more stable. It is a wider boat. The whole design is a lot more stable. It's got that W hole versus just like a regular, you know, standard Hobie hole. That is just, um, it's pretty flat. <clears throat> um, the compass is going to have a sharper nose, so it's probably going to do better in waves cutting through, but it's going to be a wetter rod. This rides on top of the water, and it just kind of pushes through the waves versus cutting through them because it's kind of got a fat bow. Now up front on the Old Town, you have this dry hatch. It's pretty big. I really like that hatch. <clears throat> And on the compass, you just get a net. This does have the uh, round hatch mod there from the center, and we put the square hatch in the center there. But normally, it's just going to come with that net. And then on this side, you're going to have two, I think they're 18-inch long tracks right here. And you're going to get two 12-inch tracks, I think, is the measurement on those. So you get more track real estate on this, and it's a flat deck, because when this drive lays down, it's completely flat. You steer with your feet on those pedals. Now here you got to drop in a big scupper to drop in the drive, and it clicks in. Um, other than that, it's pretty flat. It's a little harder to stand because of the, the hatch, but if you have a circle hatch, it's a lot easier. If you get the vertical rectangular hatch, that's a little easier too. Um, the map pockets do not come with the compass. And neither does the Scotty cup holder. Those are all mods that are really nice to have. Now over here, the Old Town is pretty much stock. That comes with a 45-pound thrust Minn Kota. And it's got a small dry hatch right here. You can fit your phone and keys in, but not much else other than that. Um, then you have two pockets here, along with tool pockets here on both sides. And these can double as cup holders. And then you have two cup holders, one on each side. So cup holders and storage are really good. This has a lot more dry storage, but you also do have that big hatch in the front. Now the seats, let me flip up the seats here. In my opinion, I like the Old Town seat better. It's only one position and that's all you get, but it is a comfortable seat. This is also a comfortable seat, but it, the quality I don't think is there. It's all plastic. That one has a, this one has a steel frame or aluminum frame it's metal um this one's plastic and the clips are plastic everything is kind of a little bit cheaper but it's more cost effective it's a little bit cheaper boat <clears throat> but the seat is good enough you do get a hobie paddle with the hobie compass this is just a cheap paddle we had laying around to stick in there until my wife's new paddle comes in but you have to buy a paddle your battery is going to sit right under your seat. You don't really have much room in the compass to store anything. Maybe a Plano box or two or something like that. Um, this is pretty much your battery storage on this. And that is your throttle. So you have forward, reverse, neutral. <clears throat> and right here you have your steering on the compass. So this is going to steer the rudder. On this one the pedals are going to steer the rudder. And your Rudder deploy is right here. It's this rope. You just unclean it and drop it. And the Old Town's rudder deploy is right here. It's this lever. You just flip it back 
that way and it drops the rudder in. So both of these kayaks are about $2,500. So they are roughly in the same kind of target market. On um, the Old Town being a little more expensive up front and you got to buy a paddle and a battery. But with all the mods that you're going to want to do with this, because this is just a blank canvas, you don't get a whole lot of features with it. Um, you're going to spend about the same amount when you start adding all those square hatches, map pockets, cup holders, stuff like that. Um, the tank well is about the same size. This one might be a little bit smaller, but this is your plug for the drive up here. In case you want to paddle it, you can put that plug in and you're good to go. Um, the plug is already in that one. You take it out to put the drive in. Here you, bo you both have uh, two rod holders and bungees on both sides. And um, two scuppers on this one in the back and four scuppers in this one on the back. The rudder protrudes a little bit into the tank well, but not a big deal. This one is also going to have two 18-inch tracks in the back. This one has no tracks in the back, but you can't add them. This one you have to buy, I think it's about $80 for a power pull plate. It uses these two screw holes right here and these two right here. This one is power pull ready. So like I said, you're getting a lot more features um, with the Old Town than you are the Compass. This is a much more simpler product. Now that we've got the rundown bow to stern, let's take a look. Or let's talk about all the features. So storage is pretty much a draw. It's just different kind of storage. Um, you're not going to have much dry storage on either one, really. Um, if you do the front, uh, front hatch mod on the compass, then you that's about all the dry storage you'll have. That does have a nice bigger uh, center hatch if you do the square hatch mod. That one's got a small one. So dry storage is not the greatest, but overall storage, I think the Old Town wins. It has a lot more cubbies and nets and tank well and just a lot more places to put stuff and a lot more open space. Um, loading and unloading. Neither one is great to load and unload. And let me tell you why. We're going to have to go back to the back of the boat for that. And this is why. This keel right here causes the boat to wobble when you try to car top it or do anything. So you definitely want to invest in a cart for both of these. But this keel guard, or this, this keel, I mean, right here, has a sacrificial plate on it, so that's good. But it's not on either side, so it's going to rock when you, when you go to rooftop it if you lean it on that. And you can't lean it on the nose because it's the same thing. This one, it's going to be, the rudder is going to be the problem. Because that rudder is going to drag, and instead of having like uh, sacrificial plates on the left and right that you know come down a little bit, you have a keel and a rudder that drags. So a cart is a necessity on either one. You can buy the compass loading block that kind of straps to it, but it's kind of cumbersome. It looks janky, and I wouldn't want to use it. So a cart's definitely a must. These carts run 150 to 200 dollars. That's a wilderness system car. It works great on that. It works great on a lot because it's adjustable. This one is a Hobie HD car and it is made just for Hobies. Now, so store our uh, loading and unloading. I would say the Compass wins, but barely. And that's only because it's lighter. Um, neither one is easy to car top because of that back end that I just explained. But I'll give it to the Compass just because it is lighter. Fishability, um, I would say the Old Town wins fishability. And that's mainly due because it has a flat open deck. It's easy to stand and fish, and it's super stable. Um, it's 10 foot 6. I'm 230 pounds, and I can turn around and kind of walk around because it's so flat and so wide. Um, the compass is stable, but again, the, the layout of it, with the hatches and everything, it's not really flat. If you do the square hatch, which is to me a necessity, um, but it's kind of a tippy boat to begin with. 
Um, it is stable, but it's nowhere near as stable as the the uh, Old Town. Speed um, on the Compass, you're going to get about 2.5 to 3.5 maintainable and about 4.5 top speed or 4.25 top speed. Um, on the Old Town, you're going to get 4.2 top speed but with about 2.5 to 3.5 at 50 to 75% throttle. So it's a lot easier to maintain because you're not doing any work. It is motorized. So to me, it's easier to maintain a good speed with the old town. You're not doing any work. So I'm going to give that the win in speed, even though the compass does actually go faster. It's just nowhere. You can't maintain five miles an hour very easily. You'd have to be in really good shape. Um, let's do the drives. The drives is a Hobie Mirage Drive 180 with turbo fins that kick up, and that's the new 2020 drive. And then you have a 45 pound thrust Minn Kota, saltwater ready. Um, it is 12 volt. They're both great drives. This one does get shallower because, and it's easier to take out in shallow water. This you have to have the pedals even to take out in shallow water. This you just turn this little thing right here and pop it up so shallow water this wins and you don't have to do any work that one you have to do quite a bit of work um, so I'm gonna say the drives is gonna go to the old town with the caveat of saying that that motor will probably fail before that um, Mirage drive and the Mirage drive is probably a little bit easier to fix um, versatility the Compass is uh, lightweight, super simple kayak. It paddles and pedals very well. Um, the Old Town without the driving battery is much lighter and makes a great paddling experience and it's easy to steer with your feet. So I'm gonna say it's a draw. Um, both paddle well, both can be pretty light and um, both either do power or pedal well too. Um, steering and rudder, I prefer the rudder on the Old Town because it flips up and on the compass, it's going to drag. It does kick up if you hit an obstacle, but out of the water, it, it becomes a problem. I like that it flips up on this one, and I like the way it flips up with the handle versus a cleated rope. And when you're floating the river, you'd have to use your hand. You have to put your paddle down if you're not, you know, if you're going to paddle these kayaks in the river. And you'd have to put your paddle down to steer the rudder, which kind of defeats the point. This one you're just going to steer with your feet and you can keep your paddle in your hand when you're on the river in super shallow water, stuff like that. So to me, I'm going to say the rudder wins on the old town, rudder and steering. Um, accessories and mounting, you're going to get two sets of 12-inch uh, tracks, like I said earlier, and that's it. I mean, other than that, you get a Lowrance ready transducer uh, system. And you got to drill those holes yourself for those uh, through hole fittings. I think they do give them to you, though. So to me, this is going to win because you have a universal mounting plate for a uh, fish finder transducer on the bottom in the front right here by the hatch. It's right underneath. You already get the through holes right here. They're already installed. They're pretty easy. It runs up through that scupper right there. And you're going to get four 18-inch tracks. So to me, for accessories, the Old Town is going to win that as well. So in conclusion, I'm going to say the Old Town is the better buy, especially around that $2,500 mark. If I had $2,500 to spend, give or take a few hundred, <clears throat> I'm going to go with the Old Town, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're selling the Compass and keeping the Old Town. Um, it's a smaller package, a little bit heavier, but more stable, more fishable, um, easier to do because it's motorized and not a pedal drive but um, you guys stay tuned for more kayak comparisons we have an autopilot 120 by old town we've got a blue sky 360 and i'm going to even compare some of those to the pa 360 by hobie 